think of an atom as an instrument. Actually, everything is quantum mechanical. There is a long tradition in physics in particular to compare nature to music. In fact, there's a historical connection between music and oral physics. With Newton, we got the equations describing how music instruments work, how the strings vibrate in the violin and how the drum skin vibrates in your drum. The, the equation, the Schrödinger equation that describes quantum mechanics, looks exactly like the equation that describes a guitar. Early theory by Niels Bohr about the quantum behavior of atoms was, uh, was not so much referring to waves. It was actually a classical picture of electrons moving around in atoms. And the question is what kind of music would that be if you could translate those frequencies when electrons move around atoms into something we could hear. But it would be interesting to, to see whether what comes out is a different kind of sound to what we're used to. We know what they are, and some of them are like the normal tones, but they come in a different progression. And these tunes will be different because the tones come with different distances between them. And that, that is going to be how the audience will experience quantum music as different, that there will be some tones missing and there will be some tones will be slightly off what you are used to hearing. Any physical interaction of any object with the rest of the universe is fully quantum mechanical. And that's interesting to test. That's actually what fascinates me really. How far can we push that? 
This project is pushing quite a lot. We are very classical in the way we approach music, the way we organize music. It's still the same, basically the same way as we did in, at Mozart's time. To do new science is not just a question of solving old equations. It's about asking the right question. It's about having the good intuition for where is there a new question to be asked and what is the way to answer questions that we never tried to answer before. And this is a place where, where I think we all fight to get the good idea. And, and that idea can come out of a project like this one. I'm composing for two pianos that will be able to do much more than we usually expected. I have uh, started to make experiments with the frequencies to transpose the frequencies of, from uh, quantum mechanics and use it in, in, a, in a composition. If you take people who have strong intuition, for example, in waves and, and wave behavior like musicians, will they be able to bring in an extra insight? I mean, can, can a professional knowledge about wave, the, the kind of knowledge that a musician has, can that also be used in, in quantum research? And that, that it will be my biggest hope for a project like quantum music, in fact. We could convey these very difficult concepts to probably a wider audience in a very different way to how we traditionally do this. But my dream is that uh, we are actually getting closer to an, another understanding of music. So in the future people will have a kind of two-layered music where there's all the world we can't see, but is there, and there's the world we can see. The really deep ambition would be that we can tap onto a different kind of curiosity and creativity. This is a, a new culture, it's a new fresh set of eyes that we get onto the quantum problems, and, and in my most optimistic moments, this is what I hope we will see.